the satellites were launched from India, and we've had guests on the show talking about how India is quietly, essentially, becoming this space exploration powerhouse, or at least pushing into it a lot harder than it did in the past. What is the significance of launching the satellites from India? Well, satellite, uh, I'm sorry, so India really wants to become a player in not only the uh, launch industry, but they also want to become a player in space exploration. This is not their first foray into space exploration or launching satellites. They've done so before. Uh, they have the capability. They have the launch locations. Uh, they have access to Earth orbit through their launch capability. And they also have plans going forward into the future to do more space exploration. You have to see space exploration as one of those kinds of things that's done by uh, a, a nation when they feel as if the, they've reached a certain level of uh, technological development and expertise. So it's a major hallmark to show that a country is a major player in the world when they can mount a successful space program. So you'll find that to be true uh, all around the world, all the major countries around the world that feel as if they've reached a certain level of sophistication uh, and technological advancement all want to launch a space program. We see this to be true for France, China, um, uh, uh, India, as you've said, uh, the UK is, is, is involved, uh, and as countries develop their capability, they also begin to demonstrate their capability by doing space, explore, space exploration. So we can also see this in developing Mideastern countries as well. United Arab Emirates is uh, building satellites that they want to launch into space. Uh, uh, other Middle Eastern countries are developing their launch capability also uh, to demonstrate their economic development and their technological capability. Hundred and four satellites into orbit at the same time. Two, one, zero, plus one, two, three, four. Now the rocket carrying them took off from the southern spaceport of Saharakota. It held a 714 kilogram satellite and 103 nano satellites. Among their uses, the satellites will monitor roads and create maps for water distribution. Most of them are owned by the United States. Russia held the previous record by launching 37 satellites in 2014. Well, for more on this, our TRT World science reporter Surav Roy joins us now in the studio. It's quite a sizable jump from that Russian number uh, to this latest launch by India. What does this mean for the Indian Space Agency? It is indeed a huge accomplishment. Uh, but in terms of science, uh, it is not just taking up 103 or 104 satellites up into space. It's also successfully deploying them in orbit, which means a lot of complicated math and a lot of complicated physics into it. And that by itself is a huge accomplishment to have 103 satellites being deployed in formation uh, such that all of them, as you rightly said, are nanosatellites. All of them are flying together in a formation in unique orbits. That by itself is a huge accomplishment. The Indians are not looking at setting record. They're looking at maximizing their capacity, which means that they're looking at pushing the next frontier. What could be the next frontier for them? They and what, if, what, what could be the next frontier? For well, them? What are they looking at? Well, they've already sent the, world, uh, the world's cheapest, yet the most successful Mars mission known as Mangalyaan. They've sent a very successful mission to the moon called as Mangalyaan. They're now looking at uh, trying out uh, the, the GSLV, the Geosynchronous uh, Satellite Launch Vehicle, uh, in the months to come. They're looking at uh, sending more missions to Mars, to uh, Moon, as well as to Jupiter and Saturn as well. And uh, uh, if, if one has to go by what the space agency, ISRO says, the Indian Space Agency, they're looking at one launch a month. Now that means a huge amount of science and technology research and development taking place uh, within the agency. And, and just how big an achievement is this? We've touched on the, on the, the, the figures. Why exactly are they spending so much money, putting so much effort into this? Because it's, like I said earlier, it's not about the money. It's testing your capacity versus your knowledge of science. Now, we all know that there are many uh, space nations who have the ability to send rockets as well as satellites into space. But ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, is by far the most successful space agency, given the fact that it hasn't had any major or any massive um, failures in the last 10 years. 
it, it has had some of its accomplishments, some of them minor, some of them major, but yeah, this is a huge accomplishment for them in the long run. Okay, fascinating stuff. Sir Roy, thank you very much as always. <laughs>